Stack 39 here, going to uh, open up another random gadget or something from Amazon. So let's see what I've got. This is one of these A3 envelopes. These ones are good because, uh, as you can see, no one can really tamper with them without me knowing. Right, it's a little tiny thing, this. What's this? It's tiny. It's a HDMI bi-directional switch. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I've got a handful of these coming. There's a pink, there's a pink one. I want you to get one of each colour, you see. Alright. Some little stickers. What's the little stickers of it? Oh, little baby stickers. Products. Hmm. Interesting. Supports 4K. So what it is, I've got three ports on my TV. So I've ordered three of these in different colours. That's going to put at each at each port. Let's see if I can see which where the others are. So I'm guessing this is one too because it feels like it. What I do is I'll review all three of them, yes, at the same time. Another one. Oh, where's the other one at then? I ordered three. I think to throw me off, they've put one in here. <laughs> I found it. They've changed the... Uh, they changed the packaging to throw me off. Ah, see, there we go. That turned out really good. So what it was, I ordered three of them because I thought it'd be nice to have one at each port of my telly. The idea of these are that I can plug more devices into the telly. So I have also been doing ordering HDMI cables so now I've got the cables and now for the switches. And I'm going to rewire everything. Now look at the pink one first. You see, it's got a beautiful, I love this tin effect they do with a lot of these uh, adapters and stuff. You can see it's got one of those things on that I really despise. Pull it off. Let's see what it's meant to look like now. So you've got to switch between it yourself. So it doesn't auto. So I've been looking at again the auto ones as well, but switch is great. So you, Blu ray, HD, DVD, got the black one. Get that off there. Look at you. Look nice, eh? Little grill. Nice. And we've got the blue one. Ah. So there we go, we've got three sw three switches. Right, so it's saying basically you can go both ways. See I'm thinking about taking the device, how it out of my telly into this, then out of this going off to uh, HD, DVD and Blu-ray, say. But it's also saying here, you could do it the other way around. So you have PlayStation going into this and then out of this going to two devices. But the question is, will they both play? All right, so we looked at the instructions. So it's saying you could if you wanted, go out of something. So you could go, say from your your Blu-ray player, say you've got a setup at home where you've got a projector at the back, but you've got your big screen, you know, your big flat screen. Or you've got one screen in another room and you've got your projector in another. You can have your input go into this. One output goes off to your projector and the other output goes to your big telly. 
So you can watch any big telly whenever, but then your mates come around and they're like, oh yeah, let's get the big screen out, mate. Oh yeah, let's get some popcorn in, pizzas, mate. Let's do some, mate. Let's do some, let's have a good night. Get some white light in and all that lot, right? So they're all coming around, all getting out, getting all buzzing, mate, and watching films and, sh and they're so buzzing, aren't they? And then, then, then you put the big screen on. Boom, big screens on. Keeping them all happy, huh? Yeah, you get yourself a nice sound system. <laughs> All that lot going. Big screens on. Oh, back to the little screen over in the corner. You're on your own. They've all gone home. So, that's one way of doing it. I'm going to put these behind my TV screen. I can't have them too far away. So once again, think about how long your cables are because you're going to need to be able to reach the toggle. Yeah? So if you've got one of these TVs that's flat against the wall and you've got little cables and you can't see these, they'll, be, they'll never get to them. You want to have nice long cables and put them somewhere nice. Could even 3D print a little little unit, couldn't you, for them to sit in like that. Like that, they have along here. You just like, um, Let's talk about the finish. This is nice. I'm loving this uh, round here. Yeah, they're very nice. Look very pretty completely and utterly baffled about the little stickers. I have no idea what that's all about. So yeah, they've got it here really. This is basically all you can do. You can have an input with your PlayStation with two screens, but you toggle between them. There's your projector, with your mates watching in the other room. There's the other, your big screen, just for you and your missus. Or the other way around. This is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be having two devices going to the telly. And that's why I got three, because now I can have three ports used with six output. And if I'm not mistaken, that will arc as well. Let's have a look. Well, for now, I'll just work on this. We'll put the bio switch in, device switch. Put the PS3. Right, so Phantom Power has already made a little light. So we got, that's PS3, PS4. PS3, PS4, that's good. And then if I put this two meter one in, HDMI two, I use these old bars for a lot of hooking things up actually, these. So there's one switch. Right, we've got some really good things to talk about here. First off, I've not been able to use my TV remote, my Sony Teddy, with the PS4, even the last cable. Now it's running through that little device, which does work of arc. The PS4 is now running off my Bravia remote, which is nice. But then if I click this button once, I can now operate my PS3. That's really cool. So as you can see, those bi-directional switches work really well. They are ARC um, compatible, meaning that in this case, I've got the PS3 and the PS4 both running through it. I put the nice new cables in, I put little devices in. Go make sure you click the cables right in. I didn't click the PS4 one in a moment ago and thought, oh no, I've got no signal. Just me being stupid. So as you can see, PS3 is looking fine. And then a click of the button, we go to the PS4. All right? It recognizes the PS4 and even changes the information for you. And you use the exact same remote control. I'm extremely happy with that adapter, got three of them back there, three different colours, as you can see in the, earlier on in my video. This is a very happy DAC79 sign off on this rewiring video.